hot today. Oh man. Woo! All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode. As you can see, the trailer's opened, and we got the Chevelle right here. We're headed down to H, uh, HD Motorsports because uh, the car doesn't work anymore. I'm just kidding. Um, so bef when I got the car from Thurk, he said I couldn't do any burnouts, which I was kind of bummed out. But he said I couldn't do any burnouts till I had 500 miles in the car. So we did that. So now we're going to head down to HD Motorsports. We're going to retune it. We're going to check little things that... Um, you know the car is done which is honestly nothing major we're just gonna retune it uh, tweak it here and there and then uh, that's it and then we'll take it outside have some fun with it really open her up and um, do some burnouts um, but I'm excited to put this car in that trailer because like you guys saw in the other episode uh, stallion custom made this trailer for this car so we're gonna load it up and um and then head down to hd motorsports and go see thurk and the crew so hope you guys enjoy this episode guys do me a favor like comment and subscribe down below if you know somebody that's not subscribed to the channel let them know and also um if you guys enjoy this content please let us know or if there's something that you want to see on the channel please let us know or let elijah know because he'll probably rem remind me because i tend to forget ain't that right always yeah. <laughs> all right let's load her up Not my job, homie. I'm on the camera. <laughs> Excuse us. Boom! Let's roll. Get on the road, cuz. You know, it's always so much fun driving through Austin. <laughs> no Texan ever. Ever. Well, we made it to HD Motorsports. Oh, we're pulling up, I should say. We're gonna go inside, talk to Thurk, unload the car, ask him what all we're doing, um, so you guys can know a little better, because I probably did a crappy job in the description of what we're really doing. Again, I'm not a car technical guy. Um, and then get to it, get it done, get it knocked out, and back on the road, and then uh, keep enjoying the car. It's been awesome driving that thing around town and you know, every time I drive it somewhere people are like, can I see it? I'm like, oh, of course, go for it. That's, that's what it's for. So, let's park here, let's download the car, let's talk to Thurk and get this knocked out. He's got people. But I'm gonna Why don't we have people? Well, I got cheese. We're I'm doing gonna it take wrong. You to see something next How are you, buddy? Good, man. Good to see you. Good. I'm going to take you guys to see a badass car next door. Oh, shit. Look at this thing. Dash. Oh, dude, Eleanor. And it's got two convertible. Damn. That thing's wild. Yeah, it's cool, eh? Yeah, it's burning. Uh, that's I love that. Oh, God, I've seen that one. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out if that is a kit car 
or a real Mustang. production of E12s that they're going to make? I'm, I'm, I'm betting that it's going to be one of the last productions. It is, it is the last. The I know it's the last, but I'm talking yeah. about across the board uh, with, with what they're doing with turbo Electric vehicles, yeah. yeah. Electric vehicles. I'm thinking that this is going to be one of the last V12 mass production engines that we see. Lambo has to come out with an electric car, right? They, they are. Yeah. They are? It's a hybrid. Well, they, uh, the hybrid, right? yeah. The oh, those, uh, come on. Why would they do such a thing? It's the way of the yeah, world, man. No, it's not. It, it's literally the worst thing that you can do is own an electric vehicle. Uh, it's a fad like bell bottoms, right? It'll it'll come in for a while, and then Lamborghini will come back 10 years from now and be like, the new and improved V12, you know? And well, my problem is people don't understand. Like, we don't know what the footprint of those batteries is going to do yeah. to all of us, right? Like, no one wants to talk about down in the Congo where all these people are literally day laborers for a dollar where are dying every single day in these yep. mines mining uh um cobalt cobalt yeah yep. to make the batteries yeah right? George, you watch those yeah. videos it's terrible well, it's horrible. Make you cry dude my buddy Check, my shit. buddy Czech Congo who fought in the UFC big dude um he's from there so his real name is not Czech Congo but it's super hard to pronounce but he took that name Czech Congo and I'm supposed to go with him next year to the Congo to do uh, missionary work, which he does yeah. all the time. He's built schools, he's built like fighting gyms, and now he's building a full-on gym. Um, and now he wants to move into that to show people what's going on with mm -hmm. all this cold war and what's happening in the Congo and how people are dying every single day down in those mines to earn a dollar a day. So that people can drive around in a fucking electric vehicle. Yeah, and cell phones and all the other stuff. So they can and feel pretend, great about themselves. Pretend they're oh, helping. Yeah, I'm helping. I'm helping. Yeah. You no, know you're not. Yeah. Like, well, do you know what the replacement cost of the Chevrolet, was it the Bolt or the Bolt or whatever it's called? Yeah. But almost as much as buying a yeah, whole new car, I bet. 20 grand for one of those To batteries. replace the battery? No, no, that's just the cost of the battery. Mm -hmm. To replace the battery is another 2000 so you're better off just buying, dumping it. Well, because it's anymore. it's built underneath the everything, well, right? So they have right, to lift it's everything the cost off. Of the lithium battery. Yeah. 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 It's, it, the cost of the battery alone is twenty thousand. Yeah. That doesn't include the labor. Wow. So once these, so you have vehicles that run and last forever, right? So like, say this was an electric powered car. It's an electric powered exotic car, right? If this car were to do what most people do with these cars and let them sit. This car is still gonna fire up in 20 years from now in its current platform. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If it was an electric supercar, in 20 years from now, they'd go to turn it over and it, have, it would need a new battery. Yeah, you gotta yeah. replace the battery. That's what happened to right. his P1. The P1 HDK yeah. has a hybrid generated battery uh, in it. And it just sat so long that the battery deteriorated and it was $100,000 to replace it. <laughs> <laughs> Elijah coughing in the background. Yeah. He's being choked. 
Have they shown what the, the uh, batteries do? Where do we dispose of them? Where do they go? Where yeah. do they get dumped? I think they just dig a hole and hope nobody sees them fucking oh, right. in the hole, right? So kind of like Dubai, they just burn, yeah. you know, a million tires and uh, it's going to be okay. Yep, yep. Turn the blind eye. Uh, have, you, have you guys seen when, the, when they catch on fire? Like, oh, yeah. No, oh, yeah. It, it'll yeah, burn I for days. Everybody's seen uh, Man. Yeah. Yeah. I, I am I am all for if people want to own an electric vehicle. What I am not for is if you're trying to say I'm bettering the environment by owning it. Yes. Or if you're forcing me to buy it. Right. Yeah. If you're trying to force me, you exactly. can't force me to do anything. Because, I will fight you. I don't yeah. care what it is. Yeah. I, there are plenty of studies out there, and it, it's on a lot of podcasts, on a lot of YouTube channels by... I'm not gonna say which like which end of the spectrum, right? Yeah, it, it's out there with actual facts, with actual research, showing you the start, like from the start, from what they have to do to find the material, yeah. just to find the material, to mining the material, yeah. the cost of that, what it does to the shipping it all over the all world, all the way, all the different people, so yeah. what they have to do with it at the very end, yeah. and what it costs. Now there is there is a new company that is taking lithium batteries, and they're shredding them. And they're recycling the material out of it. Now that's getting off. To get into yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. Now, that's cool. but it's it's the the process of it can't keep up with. Yeah, that plant is ran by gasoline and diesel. Right. And yeah. So it's so, probably more. Yeah. Coal yeah. burning forever. Um, still, no. I was watching a I was watching a a uh, small little YouTube video yesterday, and it was it was explaining that there are these companies out there that they're like, all right, I want to build a facility to house and support 30 all electric semi trucks, right? Oh yeah, I yeah, I posted that, yeah. So yeah, yeah. you posted that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but that's something that I don't know where I got it from. <laughs> um, Crispy 11 at the end too. Uh, but th they were saying that the draw for that facility would be more than the entire city yeah. draws. Yeah, makes and sense. So they're like, well, where are you going to get that power from? Yeah. Coal and, and, and coal and gas, coal and gas yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Like the Tesla plant. Come well, on, I mean, you see it in California, right? Uh, whatever his name, Jackass or whether Newsom or whatever his name is. He said by twenty forty four, he wants to have nothing but electric vehicles in California. There's not that many. I mean, there's a bunch there now. But he was restricting people from charging their cars not long ago. No, I love that. It was so, a couple months ago yes. where he said, everybody must have an electric car. And like three days later, they're yeah. like, we're turning off the power. Yeah. <laughs> like, so oh, what so happens then, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, nothing. you can turn the key on this and be okay and yeah. find gas somewhere. Yeah. With Chevelle, we can turn the key and go find gas somewhere. Right. And it's going to be okay. Electric car, power's out. Unless you're some sort of engineer that knows how to like rig some stuff up and you do solar panels, you can charge your car. Yeah. That ain't me. But yeah, that ain't me. Yeah, that ain't me. I don't know how to put an iPhone together. Nope. I don't know how nope. to do that. Like, fuck. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's, it's just a fad. It. It'll go away. It will. Uh, it'll eventually go away. We'll see. It'll go away like the. Uh, the Unfortunately, proper. cars like this are going to get uh, killed in the process. Yeah. yeah sad. That's, a, that's the sad part. That's why I asked. I was like, is there, has Lamborghini come out with an electric car? Because I feel like the minute they do it, these are gonna disappear. Porsche D two. Porsche, yeah, Porsche did too. Yeah. Project X that's coming out is a yeah. full hundred percent hybrid car. That, that's that. Yeah, that's crazy. Sad. Well, it's like the. Um, so we just see the F eight Tributo from Ferrari, right? Uh, naturally aspirated V eight, mm -hmm. and now they're going to turbo six cylinders. Well, it's not. It's not the electric or hybrid, right? We're still seeing these bigger gnarly engines starting to die. Yeah, like the Raptor. Right. Well, yeah. like every Raptor is a V6 well, now. Well, well, well you've got yeah. the Raptor R's. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're V8. That's another thing, the iconic lightning with the 6.2, yeah. now they have a, a, a four lightning, but it's electric. Have you ever driven one? No, no I mean, I, that's the fastest thing I've ever been in in my life. Yeah, I but, love the Ford Lightning. Uh, electric. I, I would never buy it, but God damn I'm it. just saying, <laughs> like the Ford Lightning, it was an iconic truck. You turned it into an electric vehicle. Yeah, they definitely dropped like, the ball on that yeah, one. Yeah. If you would have done another F-150 on its own, mm -hmm. I would have been like, that's cool. Like, the electric F-150, yeah. but you gave me that lightning. They gave us a five it, liter lightning. Yeah, it bothered me. Happy. You're not gonna, you're not gonna get, so the, the torque, the speed you can get from lithium batteries and electric motors is insane. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like, 
Yes. The lightning makes a thousand pounds of right. torque. We're, you're not going to be able to get that from a combustion engine, especially an everyday combustion engine. Yeah. Right. But you can't get the you can't get the constant use and the repetitiveness from an electric motor and a battery that you can get from an internal combustion engine. Yeah. yeah. Like you watch these drag races, and I mean I see it all the time when Tesla guys take their cars to track. They're really cool. Don't mm -hmm. get me wrong. I, I think it's cool. I, I think, think it's the Tesla guys are cool. Yeah, yeah. Like, right? Like, but they're... they can't run the continuous laps. Yeah. Or even run out when it's hot. Right. Even when it's like over uh, 100 degrees. Yeah. Like, yeah. My battery's yeah, 100. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you... this has been Car Talk at Redbox. TikTok. <laughs> and HD Motorsports. Yeah, it turned into a whole debate, guys. Sorry. Um, but let us know what you think about electric cars down below. Of your forum, are you against them? Are you an electric car car type of person, or are you old school? Because uh, yeah, I don't know. I think we can go on this debate all day, every day, and and then you know say the pros and cons to both. But I'm not a fan. I don't. You will never see an electric car in my house, or unless the channel grows to be super huge, then I'll do the. Uh, Whistling diesel thing and burn one. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Welcome, Thanks for doing a little red box time. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. the look, man. This thing's fucking crazy. Yeah, Good job, man. Thanks for stopping killing this. Is yeah. Super cool, man. Oh my God. Got, I told him, I said, hey, I'm going to take you to your car. He's like, what is this? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Oh, dude, I just opened so. I had a Corvette with Lamborghini doors and did not open like that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to get in there, man, if you want. I was, to you know, I was. Go ahead. <sighs> That's a lot of headache, huh? You know, put the big dude in the... Well, if I'm going to get in, this is what I'm doing. I'm taking my leg off. Jesus! <laughs> He's not getting out. <laughs> He's stuck. It's his now. Yeah. Oh! oh, oh. So my wife, I said I love her. I'm never coming home. <laughs> Does this seat move back? Yeah, I think it's up a little bit. Where's it at? Uh, it should be down right there. I don't want to grab your ass, but... You know you do. Oh, come on! There's not much to grab. It was all burned yeah. off. That's cool. Dude, that's... I'd be... I definitely can't wear a hat in here. You just put this. The famous little red thing. This is so cool, dude. Is your head hitting up there? No. Oh, I thought it was there. I got about an inch. Kind of like what I do on the, uh, on the Chevelle. Can you see through the windshield banner? Yeah. Well, that's all there is to it. We gotta get one now. Yeah, okay. Come on, million subscribers. No, we need to buy a Tesla <laughs> and put an LS in it. Yeah! No, that's an internet breaker. There you go. Everyone Shit, wants, Tesla with the V12 in it. Has it been done? Yeah, yeah it's uh, been done. done. I, I care so less about te Teslas that I don't pay attention. I think we're in the same club, bro. I mean, I'm, I'm all about putting an LS in it. Mm -hmm. so. I mean, you can see the cars that I have. LS have LS's LS in them. I can't own one of these. I drove a, uh, I drove the crap out of the uh, Urus. That was super cool. The Urus is our dog. Because I can get in it. <laughs> well, there it is, guys. That is the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know we were going to do some other stuff and end up turning into like a podcast kind of video. But let me know if you guys enjoy that because we can definitely do it. If you guys want to, you know, talk a little bit more about cars, Thurk and Redbox guys here are definitely the ones to do it with. And uh, that's how I learn, honestly. That they, they have way more knowledge on cars than I do. So I love, love talking to them. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, please let me know down below. And then let us know, what are you, are you for electric cars? Or are you more of an old school type like Eleanor right here? Or a Corvette? Let us know down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Guys, please do us a huge, huge favor. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. We'll see you next week. Until then, Chris Beyond.